and I'm a watercolour artist. I've been painting for a very long time and I've written many books on watercolour. And over the years, I've tried and experimented with so many products. But I've settled and fallen in love with colours that I think are the best in the world. They happen to be Daniel Smith watercolours. And I'm thrilled to say I have my own master set of colours that I just can't live without. This is my master set. It contains a collection of my favourite shades that create the most beautiful effects. And I'm going to show you how I use them. These are the colours from my Daniel Smith Jean Haynes Master Artist Set and they're absolutely fantastic. Please don't be fooled by the title. It says Master Artist, but you could be a beginner, an intermediate or a professional artist to enjoy using these colours. They're vibrant, they're exciting and I'm really keen to tell you all about them. I'd like to tell you about these colours individually. Firstly, we have Cascade Green. This is a fabulous shade that starts out green when it hits the paper and then a beautiful turquoise effect comes through. It's really magical. Next, we have Nickel Azo Yellow. This is a fantastic colour. Try it with blues or greens and when it's mixed with other shades, it's like an electric light has just come on. It's fantastic. Green Appetite Genuine. Why did I choose another green when we already have one in the set? Well, I've been teaching workshops internationally for quite some time and everybody knows that Cascade Green is my favourite colour. It's beautiful. So if everyone else is using a colour that I use, I try to do something different and I add touches of Appetite Green, Appetite Genuine to the Cascade Green and it works beautifully. Aussie Red Gold. This is the most amazing orange I have ever come across. You can use it neat, you can use it translucent, it layers, it adds and works very well with other colours. Really, I just can't live without that shade, which sounds crazy, but I think you'll understand why if you use it. Opera Pink, perfect for my English summer roses, flamingos. Think really vibrant pink colours, that's amazing. Interestingly, it's great for skin tones as well. If you're painting children, if you add this to a natural yellow ochre, that will give you a good flesh tone. Moon Glow, I have to show you this because it's just the most amazing colour. It, it's a favourite with Daniel Smith followers. Quinacridone Magenta, I don't use boring colours, I like colours that are really alive and this one is a wow shade. Undersea Green, another green, but so different to the other two in this collection. Perfect if you're painting uh, goldfish ponds or anything that you want that slightly different rich green to. Very pretty. Imperial Purple, absolutely alive. And Luna Blue, this gra granulates and gives really pretty patterns. So let's look at these colours outside the tube so you can see why I've chosen them. But you've got quite a wide range of colours here. You could paint anything with this collection, and I do. So now I'm going to show you what these colours look like outside the tube. Although I should say the colours on the top of the tube is quite a good indication of what's inside, usually. So we're going to take a small dot of each colour. We'll start with Cascade Green. Nickel Azo Yellow, which isn't the kind of yellow, it's not like cadmium yellow, it's a very different shade altogether. I use cadmium yellow a lot, but in my collection I wanted shades that were a little bit more unique, something a little bit different. Green Appetite Genuine. And I'll be very honest, I thought long and hard about having a Jean Haynes set of colours because I fall in love with colours frequently um, and it took me some time to home down my set to colours that I use all the time and these are my favourite shades. Aussie Red Gold is the next colour. I also think sometimes, you know, artists tend to keep secrets of what they're using. I'm the opposite. I want everyone to know if I fall in love with it, the whole world has to know. This is Opera Pink. This is probably one of the most vibrant pinks out there. It's a favourite with everybody. Next we have Moon Glow, it's a beautiful colour. 
I love it on my courses when people ask what the colours are that I'm using um, and they get excited about them. So I hope you do too when you're using these. Quinacridone magenta. I'm already getting excited at this row of dots that are very rich in colour. There isn't one boring colour in the collection and that was the whole point of putting them together. Undersea green. Imperial purple. And finally, the lunar blue. This colour is so beautiful, I can use it on its own in a wash. It's just very exciting, the way it creates patterns. I say the word exciting a lot, but that's because I usually am excited when I'm painting, and I would love you to feel excited when you're creating too. Who wants to live a boring life or paint boring paintings? Right, so now we have the dots of colour, but it's pointless if we just look at them. They're not telling us anything. There's no information here whatsoever. We only know how pigment works when we can see how it interacts with water. So I'm going to take a nice big size 12 brush, swirl of clean water, just do a line of water underneath each dot of colour. And what you want to see is, A, do you like the colour? How fast or how slow does it travel into the water? So let's start with the Cascade Green. It moves very fast and it, as you can see, a lovely turquoise shade starts coming in, which is exactly what I want. And as it dries, it gives me really lovely patterns. Be interesting to see if that blue comes out a little bit more. The Nickel Azo Yellow, it's quite bright, but you'll see what happens with it in a little bit when I do the next stage. Let's move on to the next colour. This is Green Appetite Genuine, very different to the Cascade Green, is quite blue. This is more a mossy green, it's very vibrant. Look how it sits next to that Azo Yellow. That's a beautiful combination. But you know, the Cascade Green with that yellow is quite magical too. I'm already beginning to feel as though I want to paint, yet alone play with colours. Aussie Red Gold, wow. That is just a wow colour. See how it goes so beautifully with this colour. Opera Pink. Very electric. I mean, that's just vibrant. Really pretty shades. There, as I said earlier, there isn't anything boring about this collection. It's a must-have list of watercolours. Moon Glow, sitting perfectly next to the Opera Pink. Oh, gorgeous colour. It actually wants to run in here. Now, this one's interesting. This is the Quinacridone Magenta, far deeper and richer than the Opera Pink. Each of these colours has a character all of its own. And if you look along that line of colours developing, which would you pair? If you had to choose two colours as your favourites, which would your favourite be? Because I, I just couldn't pick two. Thank heavens I've got a full set, because it would have been impossible to just choose six shades for this. This is under sea green, which, as it dries, is very different to these two. Green Appetite Genuine tends to granulate, so you get patterns forming in it. This is completely different altogether. And as we're coming down to the last two, we've got a nice imperial purple, which I like to combine with my opera pink. That's a really lovely pair. And finally, lunar blue. I love this colour. It's, it's got a grey quality, a grainy quality, and it just sits on the surface of my paper beautifully. But I want to show you a trick now. By the way, I do this with all my colours when I'm testing them. And this particular exercise is now called Dancing Ladies. I do it at the beginning of every workshop. And I suggest artists do it with their own colours to see which colours are their favourites. Um, obviously, these are mine. Um, they look like little rows of heads and African ladies' costumes. So, right, let's take some of that Nickel Azo Yellow before these colours dry just to show you what can happen if you mix the colours. So here we have Nickel Azo Yellow. It's going to drop into the lovely Moon Glow. Look, that just separates beautifully. Let's pop it in with the Cascade Green. That's quite vibrant. Green Appetite Genuine. Can you see how alive that side is coming? This is your light bulb colour. If you add it to anything, it's going to change the effect. We'll pop it in with that one. And I wonder what would happen if we added in with the Lunar Blue. You're actually buying a set of colours and you may think you've just got 10 shades 
but actually you're buying a whole range of shades because when you intermix them, the shades that you will end up with, the list is endless because you have so many combinations to experiment with. We'll just try this opera pink. What should we add it into? Maybe the orange? That's interesting. Maybe we'll pop it into the purple. I kind of guessed it would go well with purple. That was too obvious, really. Um, and that's my exercise with my master colours. The whole point of doing these with these shades is to feel turned on and excited and ready to paint. Imagine looking at these and comparing them to what you would be creating. I look at these colours here and I automatically start thinking about flamingos, painting flamingos feathers, or my red roses or pink roses that I have in summer. They're really alive. And as these colours dry, the effects of the shades come out even more. Let's go back to that green Appetite Genuine. Just look at the area that's been hit by the Nickel Azo Yellow. It's absolutely glowing and it's watercolour. The effects of these colour are just so magical. So I hope you buy these sets and I hope you enjoy using them as much as I do. Um, of course, these are my secret favourite colours and now they're your favourite colours too, I hope. Mm -hmm.